What's going on, guys? We got a recap today. 164, losing 164, trading Bitcoin. What's going on? Welcome on in for another recap. And this one was um, not super surprising, to be honest, as the week progressed. It's now Wednesday. I got in on Friday. And if I jump over to the setup that I was looking at, which I think was valid, although I, you know, at the same time, I kind of, you know, here's what I'll kind of get into in a second. I, I, as I thought about it a little bit more, maybe it was an overthinking. I was like, mm, you know, maybe you didn't need to take that, but also it kind of made sense to me and what I saw. So not kind of, it made sense to me and what I saw. So I took it. Um, I got in here on Friday. The weekend goes by, not much occurs. I was on the four hour time frame. Sunday afternoon, oh, we're popping up, looks pretty good. Made a new high of the, you know, of this recent run. And then just completely unwinds that and just fucking, you know, goes back down. Um, the thing about it is like, I think about it and I'm like, you know, like, is this surprising given the environment we're in? Not really, you know, given how everything's kind of been the past couple of weeks and months. Um, you, you zoom out in the bigger picture time frames and you say, yeah, it's just kind of the nature of Bitcoin the past couple of months anyway. So expecting a momentum thrust here, breakout. Eh. But, you know, you have I had what I was looking for, you know what I mean? Breaking out of the range, breaking above the volume, you know, profile node right there. So, you know, I was like, you know, we're either going to catch the beginning of what could be a pretty big move or it's going to kind of false pop and then, you know, it's not going to go. Maybe it goes later on. I don't know. And so we got the second option really is what ended up happening. Um, so that's really, it's, it's not that crazy. Like it's, it's not super surprising to me. I thought, you know, we're getting, you know, we're getting close. Oh, here we go. Maybe it's time setup was there. Boom. Just didn't, you know, just didn't work out. I will still be very interested in Bitcoin setups again above this area. Um, the higher, you know, the higher, the better, I guess in this area, but at the same time, um, I think the big picture is certainly there. You know, you can kind of zoom this out and say to yourself, you know, here's the weekly. Yeah, we'll see how this week's candle closes. It doesn't look amazing right now, but if it closes like strong-ish, you know, we are on the verge of breaking out. You know, you can go to the monthly chart as well. And, and, and if you look at the monthly chart, like you have what looks to me like a beautiful bull flag setting up for a massive potential move on the backside of this. That's what it looks like. Will it happen there? You know, I don't know. I'm again, like I like, like we do here. Like I just take my shots based on what I see in my setup and then either they work or they don't work. You know what I mean? So we'll be in position. Like I'll be ready to go. If I get a setup in the coming days again on this or weeks or even months um, on Bitcoin. Uh, so the potential is there, but I'm not sitting here saying like, I hope it's going to go and, and I'm going to bet on it now. And if it doesn't, I'm fucked. Like, no, you have risk management in place. And this trade was actually a pretty small risk. I mean, 163, if you guys know, like the sizing, it was on a $25,000 account, which by the way, that account currently sits actually at $26,095 as I'm speaking right now. Um, yeah, it's right here. The balance are the equity. I currently have an open position on silver on there, but um, so we got to get to 27 K for passing this phase, which is kind of taken. So I was there unrealized. I didn't uh, take my gains. And then I went through like just a chop fest. And then I've slowly come back. It's just, it's taken, it seems like it's taken forever. I haven't taken a lot of trades on that account either. Cause I haven't been super focused on it. There hasn't been a lot of setups. I have at least seen over there, but I think what it off or what that that's telling me is like, we can probably size up a bit more on the um, trades in general, especially as we're moving more towards the swings. Um, the swings should be a bigger size than the, than the day trades. So uh, a, because the data tells me that I'm better on those and then B because they take longer. So, you know, just to make it make more sense. Um, that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking about moving to in, in doing more in, or making those slight adjustments into next year based off the data. So that's really it. Uh, I'm going to go in here, log it in TradeZella. I'll leave a link to TradeZella below. Like always, you can save 10%. TC10 is the code. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next week. We have a couple open trades right now. I got a silver. I don't intend to see that thing hitting stop or take profit for a while, but that's open. Uh, we have two stock positions open as well. One really nice setup on Walmart and then one on, on um, NVDA. So we'll see how those go. There could be some recaps coming in the coming days. I don't know when they're going to get closed out. They're all swing positions. No day trades. If I have a day trade, that'll be posted usually the same day or like that night, you know, after I, you know, recap it. So see you in the next one. Peace.